Well, my son's friend painted his skateboard the other day, and it really didn't come out very good. So they came out to the bar and asked me if I could fix it, and I thought, sure, that'll make a good video, and it'd be kind of fun to do. So to get started, I'm going to remove all the old paint, and to do that, I'm going to use a chemical paint stripper. I'm using zip strip, paint and finish remover. I'm going to wear a mask and some protective gloves. Apply the paint remover very thick and then just walk away for about 10 minutes and when you come back you'll see that the paint is bubbling up and you should be able to scrape it off easily with a paint scraper. I've let the paint remover sit for about 10 minutes. Now I'm using a putty knife to scrape away the old paint. Well I've taken one layer of paint off and as you can see there's a lot of paint on the board. So again, I'm going to let the stripper do the work and just put another heavy coat on the skateboard and walk away for 10 minutes. Now you can see how I'm going right down to bare wood and that's only two coats of the paint stripper. So it's a lot easier than sanding. Well, there's still a few stubborn spots, so I'm going to give them a third coat. I'm using a piece of synthetic steel wool to remove any of the paint that the scraper missed. Now that I've removed all the paint from the board, I'm going to sand the board with 120 grit sandpaper in the orbital sander. Okay, well now that I've finished sanding the skateboard, I'm going to bring it outside and give it a thin clear coat. I'm now applying a very thin coat of black latex paint and I'm going to then use a wood grain technique to uh, put a wood grain pattern in the board. I sprayed a clear coat over the wood graining effect and now I'm using fine line tape to tape out before I spray again. I'm using a very sharp razor blade to cut through the yellow tape but not through the blue fine line tape. Well, I'm finally ready to spray paint the board. And the most important thing to remember is hold the can about eight to 10 inches away from the surface that you're painting and build the paint up with many thin coats. Don't try to just get one thick coat all the time. You really have to be patient when you're spray painting. You can see how light the coats are and it's tempting to think, well, I'm just going to try to get that black, but that would be a mistake. Let the paint dry, come back in about 10 minutes, and give it another thin coat. Well, now I've got about five thin coats of the black spray paint on the board, and I should mention that I allowed the paint to dry about 15 or 20 minutes in between coats, because 10 minutes just wasn't long enough, and the paint was still a little bit tacky. The last coat of paint, I allowed that to dry for two hours, just to give the paint a good chance to set up before I remove the tape. Alright, well the next step is to bring the board back outside and just give it one more thin coat of clear and then I can put the board back together. Well, I think I'm going to let the paint set up for a day or two before I put the skate tape on and attach the trucks. Now, I know this video is a little bit different from what I usually do where I'm making furniture or uh, making art related things, 
But really, in my view, it's all the same thing as long as you're making something with your hands. And uh, you may find it interesting to know that really the first woodworking project I ever made and the whole reason why I became interested in it was to make a skateboard. I made a skateboard in 10th grade shop class and I've been building things out of wood ever since. So anyway, you never know where things will lead you. Um, please, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up or leave a comment. Check out my website and uh, like me on Facebook. Thanks for tuning in.